that dude lied, bro. He lied about botting views. So I just get the feeling he's probably also lying about referring, you know? Because uh, that's what I realized. Yeah, that's because the, he literally didn't respond. You said you sent him the edit and he hit me up too. And he was like, I was like, yo, what you want? And I just like, I didn't respond. But to him, it's like, I think his mentality towards it is like, hey, I got a free music video. But he doesn't care about like the long term connections. You know what I realized when I was shooting that video for Trey, for Trell? Um, what? Like, rap culture loves yes men. Like, as much as they might be like, oh, I hate the yes men, I, I like, fuck the yes men. Like, the actual culture, like, deep down, like, loves yes men. Like, all anybody Wait. does when they go out to, like, work with each other or go to the club or whatever is they just boost each other. Like, you never, like, you, you never see somebody show somebody else their music when they meet them for the first time. Oh, I make music. They show their music. You never see them ever go, oh, this music sucks. Like, that's never happened. It's only, like, when friends do it, when friends hear each other's music and it actually sucks, then they'll say it. But when people are meeting each other, like, industry standard is to be a yes man. Just to fit in. Yeah. You just play it in so that way you get to connect whether or not you like it. Like the yes men shit works. Like like when right. I when I showed Trell the footage, like he was there. Bro, and I hate this about like doing this sort of thing. When people are when people are amateurs and you're recording for them, they wanna see all the footage you take the moment after you take it. It's like you have to trust that like the, the videographers know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah. You don't know shit, man. And, Let the videographer do it. And also, you should... He doesn't... He's not so straightforward. Most people are not, where they'll actually go like, oh, this footage sucked. Get it. Do it again. Let's do another take. No, he'll always be like, oh, that was fire. That was fire. No matter how good it looked or how bad it looked. He'll say that anyway. So it's like, there's no point in taking twice as much time. Let's not waste any time. Go record the next scene. Trust that I got the shot that, that you want, you know? It's and he never once said, "Oh, let's do that shot again." Like never, and nobody ever says that, because like nobody ever has the balls to do that. When you reach mm -hmm. when you reach a certain level where you actually have the balls to do that, when you're at that level, anytime that does happen, you let it happen and you go like, "All right, I don't like this. I'm gonna go record with somebody else," and you just take the loss of time instead of ruining the potential connection. It's, it's just weird. It showed like that he's like amateur and that he's probably not going to make it big in the industry if it's like, if like, there's like little things like that, you know? Because he's like, he, he literally said, he's like, oh, this shot looks so clean. This like that 4K shit, right? And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, bro, it's 4K, it's 4K. The video I'm shooting was 1080p. It was not 4K. Second of all, the viewfinder can't even do 1080p. The viewfinder is 720p. So how the hell would he even know? People just cap for no reason. He's like capping to make me feel good to be a yes man. And I'm like, what's the, in my head, I'm thinking like, how am I supposed to respond? Like, what's the point of like him even saying that? Damn, dude, I didn't realize what you had to go through that day. See, I wish I was there so I could like experience this shit firsthand too. Like, I want to see like people doing that type of shit. The other person's not going to know shit and he's not at a point to where he's going to be like, hey, yo, run it back. Like, he's not going to run it back. He'll never ask for that sort of thing, though. 